How's it going guys, I'm Zone Longshot and today we're talking about Pokemon Go. Now finally I have decided to make a video on Pokemon Go. So in this video I'm going to be giving you some information that someone has leaked out online. Um, basically someone's decoded the Pokemon Go app uh, and found some information that we've all been dying to know. Uh, so I'm just going to go through that list with you in this video. So what do we already know? Um, there's an easter egg to get Pikachu as a starting Pokemon. There's four region specific Pokemon uh, that you can only collect uh, around the world um, unless you get lucky in an egg, which could very well happen. I think they're in the 5k eggs. We basically think Curveball's nice, great and excellent balls uh, help the capture chance. Well, I'm here to tell you that has been confirmed. Uh, some of the new information that, that we have found is uh, the trainer level is actually capped at level 40. Uh, eggs capped at level 20, meaning if you get an egg at level 30, uh, it will still hatch the same quality as if you were level 20. Wild Pokemon capped at level 30. If you want stronger Pokemon, uh, the only way you'll be able to do it is by using Candy and Star just to upgrade them. There might be future incubators that will help uh, hatch eggs faster by reducing the kilometers needed to make them hatch. Um, Apparently there is an incubator called Distance in the code. Moves have an accuracy and critical hit rate. Each unique Pokemon has its own capture and flee rate. So uh, Dratini will probably have different capture and flee rate to, I don't know, an Onix or even a Charmander, like one of the starter Pokemon. They'll have all different capture and flee rates. Pokemon do become harder to catch as you level up. Uh, Ditto is apparently out there in somewhere. Nobody knows where. Um, I mean, I saw in the in the list they said that Farfetch is out there. We know where Farfetch is. It's in Australasia. Uh, it's a region-specific Pokémon, and they said in the same sentence basically that Ditto is also out there somewhere. So if we found Farfetch, um, then surely Ditto has to be somewhere out there, but nobody knows where. Uh, the charge meter is filled at 0.5 for each HP of damage dealt. So when you're facing a gym, every normal, every one HP of damage you hit on the defending Pokémon, um, your special attack meter will be filled up by 0 0.5. Uh, but that also means that if it's a super effective move, that it does more damage and it will charge the special attack faster. The Dragonite has the strongest base attack of all non-legend Pokémon uh, at 250. Mewtwo has a base attack of 284, so it's not that much further than actually a Dragonite. Um, Moltres has the highest base attack of all three legendary birds. Articuno has the highest base defense of all three. Zapdos almost has as high as Moltres in base attack, but is likely lower due to type advantage. Um, defending Pokemon at a gym attack every 1.5 seconds. And these two points here are probably one of the biggest points in uh, the whole list. Uh, the Master Ball is actually in the game, but there is no clue where to find it. Um, so, I, I know that nobody in the world has actually gotten it yet, if they say they've gotten a Master Ball then they're lying. Uh, until we've seen like video or picture proof uh, that's not photoshopped or something, um, then no one's got it. Legendaries actually do have a spawn rate, uh, but they don't have a capture rate. Uh, but what does this mean? I mean, do you, do you need a Master Ball? Uh, is it a random chance when you're trying to capture it? Uh, do you have to do something specific to capture it? I mean, I just saw in the, the actual trailer for the game that everybody had to uh, sort of battle it all at once just to take down Mewtwo's help, and that everyone captured uh, Mewtwo at once, so maybe that's the specific the challenge that you have to do to be able to capture the legendaries. You need other people's help to do it, and ev then everyone gets it maybe, but we don't know at this point. All we know is that they do have a spawn rate, but not a capture rate. So that is basically it. Uh, until someone else decodes uh, the files in Pokemon Go, uh, then we're not going to know any more. Um, don't quote me on any of these. I mean, they might not be true or not. We don't know. Uh, I mean, someone's posted it online, so they could have easily faked it. Um, however, I don't think anyone's over 40, level 40 capped on a trailer level yet. So if anyone goes past the level 40, then we pretty much know maybe a lot of it will be fake. Um, but until then, uh, I would definitely go with saying that this is probably a strong possibility that a lot of this is true. However, nobody really knows at this point. So along with all of this information, I just want to give you a quick update on basically what I've been doing on the Pokemon Go app. Now, I only got the game when it came out in the UK, so uh, I haven't had it as long as some other people. But at the moment, I am level 20, as you can see by the picture on the screen. And so I'm just going to show you right here uh, my top 6. So uh, I've got a few duplicates in it though at the moment. 
Uh, so basically, it's, I've got two slow rows at the very top with over 1,100. Um, and I've got Electroverse, which I only got the other day from a uh, 10k egg, which was absolutely epic. I haven't got an Electroverse yet. Uh, I've got two Hypnos, um, just over 1,000. And I got my Jolteon, which I did evolve from an Eevee, which I thought was right around about 500. So I got an, a 1,000 Jolteon from that. And again, it's just confirming the fact that um, calling it Sparky does give you Jolteon. Uh, and same for uh, the Porion and Flareon. If you name them uh, the right names, like Rainer and Pyro, then you will get the right evolution. So uh, going down from. Um, this top six, I have Seeking, which is not bad, it's just lower than a thousand. Uh, I've got Golduck, uh, i got another Hypno, and then two more Pidgeot, and another Hypno. So, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of Hypnos. Um, I don't know if everyone else is getting the same thing, but from where I am, uh, we're getting a lot of Drowsies, a lot of Drowsies, and all I see is them around the place. And as long as it's over 500, it will give me over a thousand Hypno. Uh, so that may be a good thing for you guys to know, is that as long as you've got over 500 of uh, your Drowsy, you might get over uh, 1000 Hypno when you evolve it. So I'm just going to show you some of the more r rare Pokemon that I've got. The one I'm most proud of really is the Dratini. Uh, absolutely love Dratini, love Dragonite and everything, so I can't wait to uh, evolve it into a Dragonite. However, uh, I've only caught three, but my highest one is a 327 Dratini at the moment. I've only got 10 candies at the moment. So, uh, I've got a long way to go, really. Another rare Pokemon that I'm uh, extremely proud of is uh, Kabuto. I haven't seen anyone post anything about uh, some of these like fossil Pokemon, and I've only ever seen one Kabuto. Uh, I've heard some people talking as I've been walking by that uh, they've got the evolution of it. Some other kind of fossil Pokemon, uh, like Omanyte. Um, but I haven't seen anyone have Kabuto yet. So, if you've got Kabuto, put a comment down in the comment section. Uh, and tell me what level it is as well. Or rather, now along with Detrini and uh, Kabuto, the next harder Pokemon I tend to not be able to find is starter Pokemon. Um, now I have actually all three um, of the original starter Pokemon. That's excluding Pikachu. Uh, I have the Squirtle, which is uh, fairly, fairly, fairly okay CP. It's 399. I've uh, got 22 candy, so I'm only like three off evolving it. Uh, however, I have got the evolution uh, of Squirtle, uh, a War Turtle, however, it's only a CP of 181. Next up, I have Charmander, that is at a CP of 456, which is actually really, really good, I think. Uh, when I evolve it into Charmeleon, it surely will go up like to 700, maybe 800, uh, and then when I go to Charizard, uh, it should be well over 1,000, maybe even like 1,200, somewhere around that area. And also, I have Bulbasaur at a CP level of 363, which isn't too bad. So, all, all the starter Pokemon, apart from Pikachu, uh, I really want him, uh, just to complete the set. Um, but they're all fairly decent uh, CP levels. So what I want to know, guys, is what is your rarest Pokemon? What have, what Pokemon have you really struggled to find, but you've managed to catch that one Pokemon out in the wild, um, or even in an egg? Uh, just post in the comment section and tell me what the CP of it is as well. Uh, that'd be pretty epic. So another Pokemon that I found really rare, and I haven't really heard much of it anywhere else as well. I've heard from other YouTubers and... Um, just pe general people saying that they can't find um, Abras or uh, Kadabras or Alakazams um, because they're extremely rare actually because Abras they disappear as soon as you uh, try to battle it pretty much um, so they're really hard to catch but the other day at a petrol station uh, I had a cheeky look at my phone and what do you know across the street there was a Kadabra um, it's only CP of 14 uh, but I don't care, it was a brand new Pokemon and it's the start of getting some candy. So I've got three Abra candies now. Um, I will either get them in an egg or actually potentially catch them out in the wild. I really like it. Catch some more Abras, stronger Abras, or even a stronger Kadabra. Um, I doubt I will ever see Alakazam out in the wild, but. Um, I can always hope, I suppose, really, can't I? So that's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please press the uh, like button. Um, and I hope to see you guys next time. So thanks for watching.